two, one. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Morning. What's up, baby? Yeah. Today, we're going to the gym. Check this out, check this out. Today, you guys are gonna see what I've been doing through my fitness routines, workouts for the week. Um, I've been on like this weird full body type of training lately. So I haven't had like a specific, like a chest day or a back day. No, it's kind of like been everything full body, like every day or like it'd be like two days on and then like one day I'll just do like abs or arms and then again, full body again uh, for two days. And then I think I just took like these last two days off this weekend. Anyways, hey, so we're gonna hit the gym. I'm gonna put you guys through my somewhat of a full body athletic style routine that I've been doing, a little bit more active. Um, starting out with some cardio and stuff. I mean, ending with some cardio and starting with cardio. Um, but I'm about to have breakfast. Babe just made breakfast. She's about to have her coffee, um, coffee protein shake. I'm about to have my big old breakfast. We got some hash browns, we got some bacon three waffles and some eggs with some almond milk and syrup. Had some in and out last night for the fifth time in a row. <laughs> Make sure you keep up with the Black Friday sales. It's coming along. We got some mod protein. I already know we got blood orange. This is a new flavor for you guys. Uh, cranberry apple, clear weight isolate. But this is my favorite. This is my all time favorite. And I didn't know that we had this in the big Gahooka FX. So we got this big container of the plant-based protein mocha. If you guys didn't know, this is something simple that I used to do when, you know, I need to, I want to get bigger or needed more protein. I had like three protein shakes a day. Like I had one after my workout and I had two more throughout the day with my meal. That's 150 grams of protein right there just from protein shakes with your food and stuff. You know, the protein shake is actually only um, eight carbohydrates per scoop. So I get 16 um, from, from one serving of it. Well, for me, because I take two scoops and it's simple and easy. But if you didn't know, you can use code Aftermath for 40% off of my protein. I am about to eat and then we can hit up the gym. Today, we are going to be focusing on my training at the moment. I've been enjoying I just, I've been enjoying just doing a lot of everything um, from, you know, just doing back back exercises, chest exercises, legs, plyometrics, um, getting a little bit of a high intensity hit conditioning. So I'm going to take you guys through what I'm doing for training at the moment. And I still feel strong. Um, I'm feeling more athletic. Um, I'm trying to quit smoking as well as much as possible. I haven't been smoking as much. When I from, when we came back from Mexico, I was like binge smoking because like my ADHD, like it was just like, I just had to be. And uh, that is my demon that I'm trying to overcome. Uh, I'm still doing it, but just trying to, you know, slowly exit out of it. Um, I mainly have to do it when I stream, actually. When I'm streaming, that's when I mainly have to feel like I need to smoke when I'm gaming or something. So, so I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna be like, well, just don't stop streaming. I'm like, well, I, I can't do that, bro. Uh, so let's get into the workout. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, Babe's gonna be behind the ones and twos, the channel today. So, yeah. On the ones and twos. Needy as fuck. <laughs> that girl, fine. Let me kiss. Yeah. We're gonna start out here. Okay. Gonna do pull ups. We're gonna do sets of 10, drop down, set of 20, and push ups. We're gonna do this three times. So, all together, 30 pull ups, and uh, I said 20 push ups, right? 20. 30 pull ups, uh, 60 push ups. Same thing with the push-ups. 
be wide one time and the other diamond the next. So a little bit of a wide this time. starting warm up. Next up, I do jumping jacks. Jacks. <laughs> I do jumping jacks with the battle ropes. So we have that underhand grip like this as we're going out. So we're still hitting some lateral delts, hitting some backs, hitting some traps, getting some the heart rate up, getting the blood flowing. Running a little bit out of oxygen, but once again, everything we're doing right now is to get warmed up. And I'll do this for about 30 seconds for three sets before we get into the gridiron. Well, not this gridiron, that gridiron. That's on my grid plan today. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't have the battle rope, I'd rather you just do jumping jacks and just extend the time um, rather than 30 seconds to like 45. Um, but for one of the movements, you can start up, one, up, two, up, three, up, Four, because that's going to mimic one of the movements we're doing. Go. So some of you might be asking, some of you might be asking throughout like why, why did you switch to this um, type of training? Um, honestly, it's because lately I've been kind of getting really bored with my training and the one day I just decided to, anything that I, I thought of in my, my mind, I just hit the exercise. And I ended up having a really good uh, workout. And the next day did the same thing. Did the same thing, had a really good workout. And you know, it's just been continuing on. What I would do is I would choose one or two compound movements to focus on um, during that workout and then just switch it out with the next compound movement for the, uh, for the next workout. And, and throughout that, I just work, you know, accessory work, do stuff around it, around that compound movement. And that way I still have enough energy to continually train the next body part for the next day. It's not like I'm gonna hit like a heavy bench day and then hit heavy bench, you know, again the next day. Um, I'll still wait a few days before I do that. But going on to the next workout movement, we're going up, up. Boom, over. Same thing, 30 seconds. Let's keep going. All right, so today, unique day. We're working on our floor presses. You know, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you've seen me do floor presses when it comes to a lot of shoulder issues. So definitely helpful if you have shoulder issues because it limits the range of motion that you're going you have to stop exactly where the floor is once you go a little bit further than that and that's when a lot of shoulder issues tech issues start to come through and this is also good for beginners and advanced lifters when it comes to um, <laughs> when it comes to pure strength and the bench press so you're right on the floor literally racking off coming down boom it's floating up down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good exercise to do to help you understand the motion of the bench press, help you get your, your grip, understand where you want your grip to be, understand where you want your elbows to be, just grinding against that body. Because for myself, I know other people might think otherwise, but people go out further just because it shortens the range of dish, range of uh, motion with the uh, bench press. I like to be in a little bit more here. Yes, I have more range of motion here. There's more I have to do, but I feel more powerful being up close. So that's how I prefer it. My thumb, thumb is always where the girdle and the solid meet on both sides, grabbing the bar, bending the bar once again bending the bar so really bringing those elbows in staying tight and literally my triceps my whole arm glides against my lats 
and that lets me know that I'm really squeezed, allow for me to have enough power to push through. We are at my working set. Three sets of eight with 315 right here. Once again, this is enough to still build somewhat stance of muscle while also building some strength and uh, power and strength. I try to be as explosive as possible, let it come all the way down to the bottom and explode up. So, once again, three sets, eight. Cable machine, do some cable crossovers, 16 reps for three sets. I've got my Apple Watch. Damn it. Apple Watch has really been helping me like work out a lot harder lately. Um, just because I have numbers to keep up with. Let's say I have a goal and I won't stop working out until I hit that goal of like 600 calories burned, 800 calories burned. Sometimes some workouts even up to a thousand calories burned that workout. So Apple Watch, very useful. We got dumbbell, we got dumbbell rows. Four sets of eight each side, but we got supersets, so we're gonna superset it with something. So I've been getting into cow sticks lately. Yes, I've been getting into cow sticks at my size. And we <laughs> we are going to do a pull up, right? And we're gonna go back and forth 10 times. Right here, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We got eight reps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi. Hi. All right, moving on. Getting warmed up, baby. We're getting warmed up. You know what I'm saying? We got 
Got the aftermath, baby. Yeah, you know how it goes, baby. You know, don't give me high. Don't hide me up, but hide me up. Hide me up at the same time. All right, so we're gonna hit a little bit more upper body combination of high pulls, get a little bit of power. So you're still using the legs to get the bar up. So we got, once again, high pulls for eight reps and then switching off to shoulder press. I mean, push press for six reps. And then we got a little bit of hip mobility exercise we're gonna do right after that for a superset. Now, how I keep myself mobile in my shoulders every every workout even sometimes at home when i ain't doing nothing so grab a band boom 10 times two three and what i want you to focus on when you do it is the up pull it up closer to the body try to pull it up closer to the body boom it is over up boom it's almost like when you get down to a snatch and then you're coming down back up 10 times right 10 times one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then get to going. Also, before you bench, a good thing to do, what I like to do, is either standing or on a bench. Bring it in close, pull it apart, and as you're pulling it apart, you're trying to touch your chest. Boom, and then press. Pull apart as you come down. Two, boom. Really strengthen those rear delts and open up a lot of range of motion and a lot of strength and stability in those shoulders. Sit back. Single leg leg press, moving on to the lower body, lower, lower body now. Single leg leg press, unilateral movement, along with another unilateral movement, non-weighted box jumps. So we have eight reps to five reps here. So eight reps, single leg, five reps there, single leg. Down, don't jump down.
right, finishing off, we got med ball to the wall, throwing 10 reps for three sets, 30 reps all together. You can count, can't, I just explain it for you. Hitting up, one, two, ew, I don't like that, it's suffocating my eyes. Ah, one, two, three, four, ah, ah, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, two, relax, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20, 20. one, No, I'm just joking. I'm gonna... Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that is today's workout. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Much more exercises like this to come. This is my training for the moment. So if you want to see more, definitely comment below. Also, if you need help with understanding something, comment below so I can make a video about it and uh, we can all help each other out. Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath TV. FB Aftermath TV. This is the last change to my Twitch channel. It's not Toronto underscore Beckham anymore. That underscore was just really bothering me. I just want it to be like one complete name. So FB Aftermath TV is my final Twitch name. So catch me live streaming 8 p.m. PST or PST, yeah. 8 p.m. PST on the Twitch channel almost every day. Catch you guys later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die slowly now. What you call it? Feather away in the dust. The ashes of the soul. Praise the sun. Goodbye. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.